at Carolina Bully Farms, and uh, I thought that we're kind of far enough into uh, what we're trying to do here with Money Line, and I also want to show y'all Mo Money too. He's six and a half years old, looking better than ever. But uh, what we wanted to do today was uh, just show you a video of where we're going with Money Line and uh, what he is, what it's about. I didn't want to do this video too early. We've been doing it for about working for about two and a half, three years now on Money Line. And it's just, what it is, is uh, I don't want people to get offended about a bloodline, and that's why we wait until now to come out with it. You need to be at least six generations deep to create a bloodline, and we're not definitely not there yet. Money line is just a strand of Razor's Edge blood that we're working on every day to kind of improve and meet our vision. And what our vision is, is basically this right here with a few little tweaks to it. We started out with Mo Money. We thought he was our perfect American bully and what we wanted to base our kennel around. And with every breed, what we want to do is keep his look in mind, his head structure, that nice, he's got a smash muzzle, and he's got a really bully head, but it's still got that American bully look. It doesn't get toward the English Bulldog too much. It's nice and square, defined, and how I think a true bully head should look. He's clean, no flaws, and a, a healthy dog. He's not too overdone. Uh, but at the same time, you know, he can, he, can, he can still, he's extreme. He's an eye catcher. He's a very extreme animal, but he can still get in the ring and win. He's a champion. He's produced champions and grand champions. And so this is what we started with. And uh, next up, you check out Too Fat. Um, Too Fat over here is uh, kind of our, where we're heading with the uh, with Money Line. Too Fat, I'm going to slide down here and get Too Fat's kennel. Um, too Fat is um, kind of the next generation. That's why I'm in here. I, too Fat usually don't stay in this kennel. He's a house dog, but I just brought a cup Too Fat. Huh? Oh. I brought Too Fat and Big Country down here. Come here, buddy. He's not used to being in the kennel. I brought him and uh, Big Country down here just to have him in the kennel so y'all can see all the dogs together. But you know him and, too, and Big Country stay in the house. But Too Fat is the next generation of Mo Money. He's a little bit shorter, a little bit cleaner, and, and still a little bit bullier even at the same time. And uh, he's two times Mo Money. He's Mo Money bred to Sweet Money, who's a Mo Money daughter. And what we're doing with Too Fat here is we just wanted to really lock in that look, the Mo Money look. And because uh, we want all of our Money Line dogs to have that signature look. And uh, so he's got the nice blocky head, still correct, still extreme, shorter, getting a little bit shorter. This is about the height we want him at. And uh, he's the 2015 version. And uh, if you go on down the line, you can see Dad with one of our, our best money line females. He's going to talk a little bit about her look and what we want the, the females to carry. What we want, too, is, is we're tickled to death with the way money looks and too fat. We want to be able to produce that look over and over consistently with every litter. And this is a perfect example of that. She's not a more money daughter. She's a more money granddaughter. So as you can tell, the look, it, 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 that the we took our time creating the line, so it, it's really consistent, not just, it don't have to be just off Mo Money. Off of Mo Money's sons, this is off of Euro, which is a Mo Money and Pebble son. Not even double or inbred Mo Money, it was just off of, of money to a, to, a, to another female. And uh, it made uh, her, and she, she, we don't show her or nothing, so I can't really stack her up for you, but it's spicy, y'all all know her. She looks fantastic, and she's a money granddaughter, and we have already bred her and her daughter and sons, they kept the same look. And she has a daughter that's a twin to her. And that's what we want to be able to do. You, you hear these dogs that, uh, I'll take Remy for example, because he's got so many kids out there. Somebody will say, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a Razor's Edge dog. Uh, it's got four times Remy. And, and you look at the pet and Remy's back to the 12th generation and the dog don't even look like he's got any Remy blood in it at all. It looks like a pure, game bread dog or an exotic bread that don't look nothing like Remy. And it's because they they didn't they got so far away from the, the, the image that, the, that they were trying to create. We want you to see a sixth generation of Mo Money great 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 grandson and it looks just like Mo Money. That's what we're trying to do with a few tweaks. You know we're getting them a little shorter and a, a little bullier. But if you get any bullier than Mo Money, Too Fat, Big Country, if you go any bullier or shorter than them, you're gonna run into health growth. This is about as extreme and exotic as you can get, and your dog still lives to be 12, 15 years old. Now I'll let Cody go to the And on that note, I'll show you a couple more of uh, of our uh, our Money Line dogs. You got Piglet, for example, here is a great Money Line female. She's a little bit shorter. We want our females to be a little shorter than the males. 
And uh, then Lisa here, Lisa's just incredible. I mean, Lisa's a, a, a true micro bully. She's even a little bit on the shorter side, but what we'll use a dog that's a little shorter for is when we have a little bit taller one. We need to mix it up and make it a little bit, you know, get that height just right. And if you go down here and look at Lily, Lily's just incredible. She has that same look, muscular, stocky. I mean, where a female really looks like a male. That's what you want to create. It's just an incredible money line female right here. And then over here, I've got a few, what people's been, a lot of people's been asking us why we're starting to mess with toe line blood, that it's too exotic. And, um, you know, they don't want us to mess up our money line look. But the truth is, we can't keep that consistent look without outcrossing sometimes. Sometimes, if we just breed too fat, take too fat to piglet, and take a piglet puppy, a spot, you're gonna get so much mo money that you're gonna actually lose the mo money look due to inbreeding issues. That's why we have a dog like Juice here, that even though he's not, yeah, there'll be, there's flaws, health trouble, um, and it just doesn't come out right. So that's why we have Juice here, for having still a bully short dog, um, but he needs some adjustments, you know, some things people don't, you know, quite like about him. Um, and he's here just for uh, breeding, I mean, you know, he's going to, he's an awesome bully dog and he's going to mix great with the money line to keep it clean without losing that bullying. That's a lot of times people outcross and you get a, a dog that doesn't even resemble, you know, um, uh, your line of dog. You know, it, it gets too tall or either it, the outcross overwhelms it. And that's what we love about the toad line blood, more specifically the warp blood is that it, it's got the same look. It, it's a little bit different, but it still has the same goals we're shooting for. Short, wide, pocket, and extreme, and still being pretty clean, even though a lot of the toad line blood isn't. The warp blood is still nice and clean. And for an example of that, and what money line and, and uh, warp blood does together, you can go look at Big Country. And I know all y'all have seen Big Country already, but I mean, he's just perfect for what we would look to get when we do an outcross. Big Country is pretty much the the perfect money line outcross. And he hates being in the kennel here, but uh, he is just, I mean, he's just awesome for an outcross dog. He didn't lose his, his bulliness. He didn't lose the money line look. I mean, he's just exactly what we want. We cross between toad line and money line where he takes all the best traits of each, each dog. And so that's just a little bit about what we're wanting to do with Money Line. We also want to carry some other things in the bully world too, like representing taking care of your dog and, and your dog not just being an item, but being something you love and you have a bond with and take care of. And uh, we, just, we, we have a lot of stuff we want to do and keep shooting towards, but for 2015, I thought it was time we come out and talk a little bit about what Money Line, the, uh, the strand of Razor's Edge blood that we're working on is. And it's Money Line based off ABKC Extreme Champion Mo Money. Thanks for watching everyone. Remember to like, favorite, and subscribe for more updates, and God bless.